First look at official AOS IP ROM based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the official AOS IP ROM based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. So here it is, security patch is from July 2021. The kernel they are using is Illusion, SE Linux is set as enforcing. And this is how the ROM comes out of the box. You do have a pretty cool looking AOS IP wallpaper. As for the volume panel, here it is. This is how the volume panel looks like. Do note, you can customize this volume panel and for full disclosure i am running the vanilla build with nix stock g apps on top because i prefer to have pixel launcher and select and screenshot are working without any issues and you also have the option to delete the screenshot in case you want to recents here it is this is how your recents are going to look like everything is smooth with no jitters and no lags tap on the application icon and the options which you should get are app info split screen and pause and application quick settings panel bam here it is this is how your quick settings panel might look like because i have customized it a bit but you do get the basic idea as for the power menu here it is this is how your power menu looks like and as you can see the blur effect is working without any issues but a small issue which i found is that the easter egg cat controls do not work on this build right now now going back to your quick settings panel so here are the different tiles which are available and of course in case you want to add more you feel free to tap on the edit icon and then you can add more tiles the ones which are here the bottom row can be added and tap on the three dot menu on the top right the only option you get is to reset and have a look at that animation oh my god isn't that smooth next up let us go ahead and check the android 11 screen recorder which does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time so the screen recording has started and what we are looking for over here is if there is any lag in the ui when you're using the screen recorder and certainly there is no lag in the ui when you are using the android 11 screen recorder and once the recording has finished you can of course share the recording in case you want to and you also have the option of your notification history on the bottom left so here is the option for notification history next thing let us head over to settings and we can have a look at the other customizations but this is how your settings panel might look like and no you do not have the android 12 style search bar for now but the scrolling is smooth next up let us go into network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you do have the option to disconnect and you also have the option to auto connect on a per wi-fi basis heading over to apps and notification let us say see all apps and herein we can select any application which has say access to the internet or say your location so let us go into maps and then we can go into permissions and go into location permission so you do have four different options for your location permission you also have a toggle to remove the permission if the app is not used for some time which i think is 90 days for android 11. then if you go into mobile data and wi-fi you do have per app network isolation so you can control whether this specific application has access to wi-fi data mobile data background data vpn data and all the other fancy stuff go into conversations you do have priority conversations notifications are present along with the option to enable your notification history and bubbles do note whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now next up we have owls nest so this is your customizations from aos ip itself you do have multiple options at the bottom right now we are in the actions option so first up you can customize your power menu so you do have a toggle for advanced reboot something which we have enabled so if i go into advanced here it is these are the different options which i am getting restart bootloader recovery and just restart the system ui you also have the option of adding one additional user action and we of course have added the screenshot option and there it is working without any issues next up you have navigation so of course 
you can enable the navigation bar for those of you who are using the three button style go into system navigation three different options gestures two button and three button as for the customization for your gestures you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge you can configure the dead zone you can choose to hide the bar at the bottom and if you go into advanced gestures you do have your extended swipe action and once you enable this you can choose your long and right vertical and normal swipes so let us change the long left swipe action to say the volume panels now if i swipe from the left long you will notice that the arrow changes to a double arrow as soon as the action kicks in and then bam here it is you do have the volume panel working without any issues next up in your navigation you have the toggle for enabling or disabling the pixel animation again this will work for your three button navigation and the same applies for the invert layout toggle as well go into gestures you do have multiple options so you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice from any screen then you can also activate the torch so you have two options either double tap the power or long press double tap did not work for me however long press does work for me without any issues and of course double tap to wake is present in the build and it works without any issues then you can also adjust the brightness slider by sliding across the status bar prevent ringing so two different options vibrate and mute and with prevent ringing press power and volume up together to switch between the two different modes power menu is there and device controls are enabled but even after that it seems to be crashing then you have skip music tracks using the volume rockers when the screen is off do you want to double tap on the lock screen empty area to switch the screen off so let us give this a try double tap to wake worky worky double tap on the empty area to sleep works without any issues next up you do have three finger screenshot and as you can see it does work without any issues then you have customizations for the volume panel and what is the type of volume panel you want so you want aosp compact audio or tile next up let us move over to the interface first up in interface you can customize your quick settings so of course your quick quick setting pull down i have set it as right swipe down from the right it is expanded swipe down from the left it is not expanded next up you do have your show tiles title toggle edit icon so this is the icon which they are talking about bottom left and then you can also configure the number of rows and columns for your quick settings and i do have it changed along with your header opacity and the background opacity so this here the notch area is the header you will notice it has a different shade as compared to the quick settings background so that is something which i have customized then you also have your heads up notification along with customization options for heads up pulse graphic equalizer is present and it works absolutely fine on your normal home screen or any screen and it also works on the lock screen as well without any issues you do have a bunch of customization options for your equalizer as well next up you have customization for your status bar so in battery options you can of course choose between multiple battery styles and in case you want to show the battery percentage in the quick settings header instead of your battery estimate you do have a toggle for that go into clock and date you can of course change the position of your clock where do you want it am pm style date and you can also choose to auto hide so if you notice right now my clock is hidden and you can choose the hide duration and the show duration so after every 60 seconds it will show the clock for five seconds that is what i have set it as right now and of course you have a toggle to show the seconds as well and this i think is a nifty feature because then the notch area can be used for some more notifications network traffic indicator along with the customizations for that are also present and you can also configure what all icons you want to see in the status bar then you have customization for the lock screen so the native controls are over here in case you want to add a text to the lock screen wake the screen for new notifications go into advanced and here you can configure your ambient which includes pickup hand wave and pocket of course you have a toggle for ambient music ticker and ambient wake gestures as well then in general options do you want lock screen charging info or not what is the temperature unit and you can also configure the lock screen media art along with the blur level for the media art then in 
system or miscellaneous you do have your general notifications so do you want to see the notification headers and yes screen edge lighting is present along with gaming mode and once you enable gaming mode you can configure your heads up automatic brightness what do you want to do with the ringer in gaming mode gaming mode indication and in case you want to add games automatically to your gaming mode you do have a toggle called dynamic mode next up we have themes so yes you can change the accent color and as you can see i do have it set as deep orange right now i mean my favorite color of ferrari red is not there so i am forced to use the deep orange and unfortunately no system wide rgb picker as well you can change the font as well and google sans oneplus slate samsung one all the famous and popular fonts are present then you can change the icon shape and right now we are using default but you do have multiple options let us try out the teardrop one and here it is it did change and you of course do get a preview on the top as well then you can change your status bar and quick settings icon as well so let us try out the kai style and here it is this is the kai style which is like the wi-fi icon has a bit of curved lines then you can also tint the quick setting tiles using the accent color and you can customize your settings dashboard icons so what are those icons these icons which you see on the left these are the ones which can be customized and then you can of course change your clock style as well so these are your lock screen clocks and you do have a bunch of different options i personally am using the fluid clock right now and other than that do you want to see the clock status area and then you also have system wide themes so they do have a light theme along with google dark pitch dark and clear theme is also present so let us enable the clear theme and trust me it does look pretty great you might not see it to be as great or as i see it on the phone itself but the clear theme is pretty dope i have to give this to the clear theme then you can also schedule your themes and take a backup of your theme in case you want to next up we have battery so in battery you do have your thermal profiles and here are the different options which you can choose so you have default benchmark browser camera dialer gaming and streaming battery saver is present along with extreme battery saver feel free to pause and read what extreme battery saver does and you can of course set a schedule for your battery saver based on your routine or based on your percentage as well and the toggle to turn off battery saver when the battery is charged at 90 percent adaptive battery along with the option of blocking the sensors for specific applications is also present with some stats like last full charge and screen usage since last full charge do note i haven't noticed any excessive or unnecessary battery drain so far in my limited usage of this rom go into display you can of course configure the brightness night light adaptive brightness is present go into wallpaper you do have different options let us go into styles and wallpapers so you do have a baked in wallpaper from aos ip then if you go into the next styles and wallpapers you do have different options and surprisingly i do not see the option for curated culture something which i think is pixel exclusive so it should be working on this rom because you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver so that might be another small issue with this build for now then you have your screen timeout auto rotate screen going to lock screen we already covered all these options then you have double tap to wake already checked prevent accidental wake up and you can configure your font size display size and the dpi as well moving over to sound you can of course you know change the volume levels based on the sliders then you can choose to link and unlink your ring and notification volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well then you also have options to configure your live caption media player you know shortcut to prevent ringing now playing of course is broken on the build and you have toggles for all the different options my favorite option over here is the ability to disable the irritating screenshot sound and direct sound enhancer is also present next up you do have your security so in security unfortunately you do not get face unlock and you will have to use your fingerprint scanner and no app lock as 
well next up you do have the option of system so here in not much customizations because we already covered them in the other section which was i forgot the name sorry owl's nest and if you go into system you do have aos ip updater but i think right now it might be broken because it says that it failed please check your internet connection so either the feature is broken or because there are no updates available there is nothing to tell me about next up let us have a look at the applications which are installed out of the box so the only apps which i have installed are youtube and magisk that's it everything else is installed out of the box you do not get any gcam but of course gcam you can find the video from yours truly in the description of this video let us open the magisk app do note device is not rooted right now only installed magisk app to check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing out of the box we can also go to the google play store and here and if i go into settings you will notice that play protect certification says device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine no jitters no lags live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium next up in terms of your google photos no unlimited storage saver is there and we can also try to edit a picture of my favorite football star which here is mr maradona now one of you wanted me to try out messi if they won the copa america they did but i forgot about that in the next video anyways let us go back and try to edit it one more time wait for this loading bar to finish once that is done go into adjust portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature in the building working without any issues important thing to note over here is that portrait light only works if you have a human object if i try to edit this picture of my chicken friend i will never get the option of portrait light because google does have pretty dope ai and while we're talking about ai the assistant lady is present and she's ready to help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well then in terms of app opening animations again everything is smooth no jitters and no lags recents here are the recents no jitters no lags everything is smooth you do have the clear all button as well next up let us try our google feed and see if you have any jitters any lags in the google feed so again the experience is smooth but re smooth is what they call it and we can also try to switch between a few applications again no jitters no lags everything is as fast as it can get so what is the final take on aos ip well People have been waiting for ages for AOS IP. It is finally here. You do have a few small bugs and a few missing features. Hopefully those are added down the line. If not, I would rather enjoy the ROM than worry about the features which are missing. If I like the ROM, I use it and there it is peeps. That was our first look at official AOS IP build based on Android 11 running on the Poco F1. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you